Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 1.5 gallon wet dry vacuum from HyperTuff. And this thing costs about $30 at Walmart. It definitely comes with everything you need. It comes with the hose, the canister obviously, and the manual, a wall mount, and a wet filter, and a cloth dry reusable filter. And it comes with two accessory attachments. The wall mount itself is super simple. It really is just a piece of metal that the vacuum sort of like clips onto. Um, I haven't used mine because I just store mine somewhere on the ground, but um, it is an option. Uh, I wanted to talk about the cord real quick. It's super short. Uh, I definitely have to use an extension cord every time I get this thing out. So if you don't already have an extension cord at home, I would recommend buying one if you're going to buy this. I use mine a lot to vacuum my car and the cord is just definitely too short to plug it in outside or even inside and you know like have it come all the way out to my car so it's just yeah definitely needs a few extra feet of extension cord. The suction on this thing is awesome. I mean it really just feels like a mini shop vac. That's the best way to describe this thing. Um, just it doesn't have wheels on the bottom or anything like that but it functions pretty much like a shop vac. It's, you know, wet dry, so you can use those two functions. It also has a blower function, which I will show you later on. But as you can see, only a few swipes on my car and it did a freaking fantastic job at getting all that dirt and grass and whatever else um, off of my floor mats. A huge plus about this thing is the fact that it is so small. Um, I don't want to use a huge bulky vacuum, like a huge shop vac, on my car because I hate the hassle of like getting it out and back in. Um, and I have a difficult area where it's just hard to get something big and bulky in and out of my really tiny basement. So having this is so awesome. Before this, I really just used like hand vacuums um, to vacuum out my car and the suction on those uh, was terrible, just absolutely terrible, but the suction on this is great. So it's just so useful that it's small and has so much power and is able to just get everything up. Something that would have taken me 10 minutes with my little handheld vacuum um, definitely only took me like five minutes with this vacuum. It's just so unbelievably fast and just very useful and the attachments are useful too. Um, the crevice tool can get into small places and the brush tool that you're gonna see me use um, is really good at getting like animal hair and you know um, fibers that don't easily come out any other way. That definitely helps a lot with that. Now that I think about it, um, maybe the cord is so short so that it's super like uh, portable and maybe a giant cord would have made it less portable. So uh, maybe that's why they did that. So right here, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean out the filter. I made a huge mistake with this thing and decided to open it inside my house. And um, it sent dust everywhere. Just remember, like I said, it really is like a mini shop vac. So whenever you open this to clean out the filter and, you know, empty it and whatever, uh, I would just recommend just, just do it outside because it literally let out a giant dust cloud in my house, which was really stupid, but I just wasn't thinking. So um, I'm going to take this filter outside to like beat it off. And that's really what I do when I'm just, you know, cleaning the vacuum out. I'm not going to wash it, uh, the filter every single day or anything. I'm mainly just going to like beat it off outside. You can see all the dust falling off of it and that's pretty much good enough for a while. And then, you know, like once a month, I'll go ahead and wash the filter off. And I will show you guys um, a video of me doing that later. So something you guys should know too is that this thing has two functions, which is really, really cool. It has um, a like suction function and a blower function. I think that most shop vacs have that. 
So that's just really awesome that it comes in this little vacuum. Um, you just do it like that if you want to do the suction and this back hole right here is what you would plug the hose into if you were going to um, use it as like a blower. The blower is incredibly strong like you can see it uh, messing with my skin the way it's doing and that's because like I said the blowing power is just really intense it's really strong. So now I'm going to show you guys how to change this thing from a dry vac to a wet vac. So you're just going to remove the dry filter, which by the way, I didn't show you guys how to put that back on. Um, it's super easy. You literally just slide it on and make sure that it's covering the whole thing the same way I'm putting this wet filter on. This black spongy thing is the wet filter and I'm literally just going to slide it on there and make sure that it's covering that whole thing. And I had to turn it over because the wet filter is very tight, so you've really got to get it on there. It sort of feels like it's going to break when you're putting it on, but um, it doesn't, and it's just kind of tight. So just put it upside down. That makes it way easier to um, put on there. Also make sure that after you do use the wet vac, um, make sure that you like remove the filter and uh, let the vacuum dry completely before changing it back to a dry vac. All you have to do is press the cap back on and you're ready to use the wet vac. So even though my couch is not wet, I do wanna show you guys what you would do if your couch like was wet. Like you can literally just slide it across and it would get like water out of my couch. And what's really awesome about using this wet vac is that um, you can then turn around and use the blower aspect of the vacuum and you'd be able to dry like a wet spot on your couch. Maybe there was an accident or a spill or maybe you have kids that did God knows what on the couch. So yeah, it's really going to help with those types of accidents. I feel like having a $30 vacuum that does all of these features is 100% worth it. So now I'm showing you guys how to rinse out your filter. I know the filter looks clean, but that's because I accidentally forgot to press record last time I rinsed it out. Um, so I just put it in my sink and use my sprayer and the water from there is intense enough to clean my filter out. I don't always need to use soap, but you can if you want. It is safe to use like a mild soap on the filter. And then after I'm done with that, I just wring it out the best that I can and I try to leave it like damp. And then um, once I've done that, I usually put my filters over like a can or a bottle so that there's some air circulating through, that way it can dry properly. And these things are definitely gonna take 24 to 48 hours to dry, so just make sure it's all the way dry before you put it back in the vacuum. Something I really love about this vacuum and all shop vacs, honestly, um, is that you can find replacement parts to them really easily. Um, right here is a piece that fell off my vacuum and I didn't realize it as I was taking it inside and my husband mowed over it on accident. So I had to go search for a replacement part and at Walmart I found this whole set of um, cleaning tools that's not even the same brand yet it fits my vacuum. And it's pretty cool because it came with a lot of useful things. And also, if you just need to buy like the one piece alone, I'm pretty sure that Lowe's sells like singular vacuum pieces that go to ShopVacs and I bet you could find it there. So that was just my quick review of this $30 mini shop vac I found at Walmart that I love. I really can't find anything negative to say about it. It's one of my favorite products that I've bought in a long time and my car has never been cleaner and there's places in my house I could never get to before that I can get to with this vacuum, especially with the power that it has. It just, it's really good value guys. I love it. Um, but let me know what y'all think and uh, just leave a comment down below and like this video and I will see you guys in the next one.